welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel, rolling out a piece of uh, promotional content on Globex data. This has been an incredible review that I've done here on a company that is selling uh, privacy uh, over personal data and corporate data alike. Um, they are an emerging company here that is uh, tackling the open source uh, of data availability through platforms like Microsoft, uh, Google, uh, and Amazon alike. Uh, they basically take and house and store your data in a proprietary way using their virtual vault technology. Globex data is uh, traded under the over-the-counter quality board markets under the ticker symbol SWISF and on the Canadian exchanges uh, under the ticker symbol SWIS. Uh, full disclaimer and disclosures will be provided in the description below, as well as the uh, company's website, which I found very useful uh, in finding the slide deck, news releases, and progress being made by GlobeX Data. With that, guys, let's jump into the investor presentation and find out some of the exciting things that are going on right now with data protection at GlobeX Data. Love to welcome everybody into GlobeX Data. This is an incredibly interesting company and well-timed here with the emergence of uh, how important it is to protect individuals and businesses' data uh, using high-level encryption. Globex data goes above and beyond. We're going to jump into this investor presentation. You guys are going to want to stick around here. Uh, if you're interested in the concept of protecting data, and not uh, allowing data to be open sourced here. I think we're just uh, learning as we incur more data breaches by some of the major providers like Microsoft uh, and Amazon and the like that are using open source and mining individuals' data uh, and using it for their own benefit. Globex data takes a completely different uh, approach to protecting not only individuals' data, uh, but the data of major uh, corporations out there. So stay tuned as we jump into the investor presentation for Globex data. So Globex uh, uses what they call their uh, virtual vault technology. We're going to talk uh, much more about this with the CEO when he comes on the independent investor channel. But they provide um, these uh, privacy and uh, secure over four product suites here using their secure uh, product here to secure mail, uh, messaging, and also uh, data in their secure safe. It is a proprietary technology and they store all the data in Switzerland. There's absolutely a strategic reason for that. We'll get into that as to why Switzerland is the optimal place for this technology to be housed here uh, with the virtual vault technology that's put out by Globex. And Switzerland is the optimal place for data storage. The one I'd like to highlight here is that it's independent of the uh, Cloud Act of 2019, which is applicable here in the U.S. Uh, and EU. Switzerland has been a neutral player for many, many decades. It's got a neutral posture and a great environment uh, geopolitically. So incredibly stable government. Uh, it's got the maximum data privacy in their um, sovereign laws in Switzerland, which makes it an absolutely excellent place uh, to, to house uh, personal data and corporate data using their proprietary uh, technology. So cyber attacks and theft of data are identified as two of the top 10 business risks most likely to happen. You can see here the financial services uh, element is the, the largest uh, of the targeted threats, obviously going after people's personal identifiable information and uh, bank accounts, specifically anything that's uh, financial related here. And I think we've evolved to this place here where with the uh, emergence of modern technology and having everything open source and moving people, at least over the last 15 or 20 years, to more of an online presence, uh, I don't think the ramifications of that huge transition could have fully been appreciated. And that's why companies like Globex are stepping forward and saying, hold on a second, we, we really need to fight this head on and allow people to opt into something that is uh, military grade as far as protecting personal data, financial data, 
transaction data, um, everything of the like that we're pushing through our traditional open source means here. Globex is taking a completely different um, different uh, approach to this and allowing people to protect that data, acknowledging how important it is to safeguard that, uh, that data uh, over time. So if you've ever had your credit card hacked, this is part of it. You're 300 times more likely to have a cyber attack on anything financially related. And this is going to get worse. So the need for businesses uh, like Globex that are stepping forward and basically just coming out and saying, look, and they are, they are the best technology on the market and very, very uh, unknown. Uh, I didn't even know that this company existed and they're working hard to put their notoriety out there and combat this problem head on as people are really getting tired uh, of having their data breached. Um, as a cost of doing business and I think it's increasing the value of personal data it's increasing the value of having uh, financial information safeguarded uh, in a place by a company that knows what they're doing uh, and can give people that peace of mind to understand that they won't be victims of these targeted attacks so representative sample pool on how the bad actors are targeting vulnerabilities out there in the marketplace and it is an environment fraught with targets and really Globex is allowing each individual or companies the opportunity to step forward and really make a stand against these number of different ways that individuals and companies alike are being exploited we just in this year had Microsoft drop an enormous data breach and once those breaches happen, they're, they're done. That data is compromised. It's out there in the open. And I think people are getting tired of uh, really just being subject and vulnerable to the bad actors out there that look to exploit, exploit uh, personal information data, uh, corporate data in any one of these capacities and many others. And again, we I believe that they're going to get worse. And I think the need to... Uh, acknowledge the value of protecting data really needs to be put out there uh, for corporate and individual awareness. And this is the data flow uh, both internally and externally and the charge of organizations and really the, the realization of companies to uh, shore up on their information security in all capacities, whether or not it is communicating with other companies out there or with their internal communications between employees, uh, with email communications and, and, and the like. And, and this is really just a, a step in the right direction, but we are just at the beginning stages of having corporates, corporations say that that's enough. We, we need to take radical steps in the right direction to secure both our internal data and our communications outward. Now, once proactively corporations take that stand to secure their own data, Globex is a, an amazing opportunity because it uh, can be uh, utilized by the host company even if other companies do not uh, secure the services of a company like Globex. So it allows companies to take a proactive stance to protect both their internal and external communications within their businesses. So these large data hacks that are happening now are as a result of these large open source coding with lack of security. And I, I think it's prompting a paradigm shift in the industry to strategically look at those businesses that say, you know what, we might have a small niche here, uh, but we're going to go to uh, more of a targeted type of uh, protection uh, posture with our own data and, and not be subject to these large cloud companies, especially with Microsoft, with the Google and, um, and Amazon alike, where uh, the secure products can at least allow these small entities. And it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's slowly starting to trickle into some of these companies uh, that are integrating the secure products into their organizations, uh, and they are reaping the benefits of being able to be uh, forward with their customers uh, and provide this level of encrypted data protection uh, for their businesses. So Globex is targeting the most common channels, which we can all agree are email messaging and file transfer. 
Um, these are commonplace uh, in our day-to-day -day communications, even in the workplace, in our personal lives. And they are targeting with their secure suite of products. Globex is going after these major swaths of common channels uh, and securing those uh, for individuals and for companies alike. I've seen these products in action. They're absolutely fantastic. They're easy to use. This is secure for email and messaging solutions here. Military level encrypted chat, uh, confidential contact search. Uh, remember, uh, Globex never takes your data and sells them, which makes them a, a standalone from any of the other large companies that are selling your data for profit. Make no mistake about it. Um, the opportunity to engage in private communications in a private environment, fantastic proprietary secure send and secure reply email. Um, this is cutting edge stuff here, guys. And the, the opportunity to uh, enjoy these secure products with a, a certain guarantee that your data is being protected at the highest levels of technology that's available now in the marketplace. And just an introduction to Secure Messenger. We'll get into all these products when we uh, interview the CEO. But the cool thing about this is a confidential contact search by secure number only. They don't take your phone number um, when you register for this product. You're awarded a, a unique ID, which is great. Um, again, with the military level encrypted chats and file transfer up to the standards of the uh, Swiss uh, data protection laws and not subject to the Cloud Act of 2019 here in the U.S. Um, so this, this company is, is really incredible, taking a different twist to combating uh, the compromise of uh, personal data and corporate data alike. And same idea, just to introduce Secure Mail. Uh, secure Mail offers private and secure end-to-end -end encrypted emails from servers in Switzerland. This is just um, really, really a cool uh, one of their suite of products here that they roll out through the uh, Globex uh, portfolio of products. Um, this is, uh, again, hosted by the uh, Swiss servers communications application for both uh, personal and uh, corporate use and they're already starting to um, win opportunities with uh, some of the corporate contracts that they've got in place now we'll discuss that uh, more in length when we uh, interview the CEO uh, uh, Elaine Guiai uh, on the channel here um, in about a week's time. So look forward to getting a little bit more in-depth information on this product offering from uh, Globex. And finally, the Secure Safe product is the way to uh, store all of your data. Um, fantastic, individually stored on their server in such a proprietary manner. Nobody else is storing data in this in this manner. Um, there's so much encryption going on and they store each and every account individually on the server uh, using the virtual vault technology, which is just uh, really, really impressive what these guys have been able to do. And it hasn't happened overnight. This company has uh, been doing this for about 10 years with their sister companies. So they, they've been working on this initiative really with the guidance and the leadership uh, of Elaine Guiai, uh, the CEO of the company who's vested in the company as well. Um, we'll discuss his uh, level of commitment to the Globex uh, data opportunity for individuals and for corporations uh, when we have him on the channel. And here's a cross comparison on uh, Globex and how they stack up with the competition. Uh, they blow it away. It's just no doubt about it. Right now, Globex is really just trying to provide uh, awareness and win over those companies that uh, are overdue and didn't understand that a company like this even existed, and they do. Uh, so for awareness, it's extremely important for uh, users of this product uh, as well as investors to understand that Globex is taking a stance here uh, against some of the major offers here um, that for years have been doing it wrong and being subject to data breaches that are 100% avoidable. And so you can see how they check all the boxes uh, in a cross comparison with some of the major offers uh, and they're doing that for the end user. Their whole business is about securing 
data, whereas some of the big folks out there, especially with uh, Google out, uh, and Microsoft uh, and Amazon, you know, their whole intent is to take and data mine your data and sell it for profit. So a completely different initiative here with the Globex opportunity. And here's some of our most common uh, messaging and communicating tools that we use here. Uh, does does not even compare. Uh, these guys blow it out of the water. Uh, again, they can provide this optimal service here being based in Switzerland uh, and being subject to the Swiss laws and, and also being outside of some of the open source allowances by some of the large companies to do what they do in providing suboptimal service to clients. And I just think from a knowledge perspective, I don't think users truly understand how vulnerable their uh, data is in the current open source environment. Some of the strategic industries of target here of note, of course, financial services and insurance being the top most targeted. But uh, think about some of the others in telecommunications. The military uh, is great. Oil and gas. The government, when you talk about you know, storing your data in, in one of the, the most secure uh, sovereign nations in Switzerland. It's um, really intriguing to the value proposition of n not only data, but data that must, and I do foot stomp, must be protected at all cost. Globex is uh, the only solution in the world right now uh, that provides that level of safeguarding using their proprietary technology. So the distribution model is really, really simple. Um, Globex, they charge a monthly fee. It's $5. And for people who uh, can justify a cost like that to enjoy the services and be rest assured that their data, their communications, their email transactions, and their data alike uh, are being safeguarded to the highest of standards anywhere in the world, um, it, it, it means for a sticky service. In other words, people who are signing up for this are understanding how incredible each and every time they send an email to understand that it's being safeguarded at the level that Globex boasts. It's incredible. Now, their other is their acquisition uh, piece where partners bear the cost of client acquisition. Uh, we'll get into this more with the CEO here, but a massive addressable market and $500 billion per year. And I think this is just to the beginning here with this technological revolution and the need to scale back on how open source and how open we are with our communications. Uh, Globex provides the only solution globally uh, that can boast this level of data protection for individuals and for corporations. These are some of the global partnerships that they've uh, been able to solidify in their deal making uh, uh, capabilities here. Spearheaded, I will say, by Elaine Guy. I've done a lot of research on Mr. Guy. Um, just a fantastic advocate of this product and what he had to go through to secure the American Mobile deal. Just to highlight a couple uh, on this slide, we'll get into a little bit more here, but you notice there Keller Williams and Remax uh, on the real estate side. These large institutions have already integrated the Globex opportunity for their employees, understanding how important it is uh, for those communications to be secured, and they get to boast that they do that for their clients. And, and their employees. It's a win-win for any organization. Again, when I talked about both internal and external communications, it just makes sense, guys. And some of these large global partnerships are really starting to solidify and start the domino effect as people really start to buy in to the importance, the importance of uh, data protection in today's environment. So the unique uh, value proposition here for Globex, I want to highlight a couple here, 100% owned infrastructure. There's no Amazon Web Services. There's no Google infrastructure. There's no Microsoft Azure Cloud. Uh, all the services are uh, servers are inspected manually. So this is independent of the open source um, that uh, most people use out there and are just subjecting their data to uh, breach in a large capacity here. We've talked about not being subject to the U.S. laws, so really kind of being on a, 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 a standalone uh, in a sovereign nation, a neutral nation like Switzerland, which is just a perfect fit uh, for an application like this. 
Elaine Guy is the founder and uh, CEO of uh, Globex Data. We're going to have him on the channel, so stay tuned for that. You're going to want to hear it right from the boss. Um, this guy is an incredible, incredible figure in the industry. He's very well respected. Um, Forty percent ownership internal of the company. Um, they have a vested interest in this company. Um, he's absolutely the the pioneer, really, that has really got Globex on an international. Uh, attention with some of the large partnerships that they've been able to garner here as of late. We'll hear more from Alain Guy when he's a guest on the channel, uh, and we'll get a little bit deeper in uh, Alain Guy's involvement with Globex and the company. Multiple opportunities to find more information on Globex data. You can visit their website at uh, globexdatagroup.com, uh, secure.com. You can get a hold of their um, uh, uh, investor relations at corporate at globexdatagroup.com and find them on any of the social media platforms out there. They're just starting to roll out some awareness pieces. So you're going to see more information come out uh, on Globex data. Um, but this has been a real pleasure to review this company looking to tackle a huge issue both for large businesses and for individuals in securing data in the way that technology allows in today's environment. All right, guys, so we've come out of the investor presentation here for Globex Data. I want to remind all investors to do their own due diligence on companies uh, such as Globex Data. This is a company that uh, we're providing awareness on. Uh, I didn't know this company exists. It's been around for 10 years. They've been making incredible strides in uh, knocking down some incredible relationships with some interesting strategic global partners. And we wanted to roll out that progress on Globex data that's taking a different stance here uh, and really reeling back our understanding of how private and how secure our data is on the open source network. Guys, we've evolved so fast in the last 10 years with technology, and I think we've moved too fast in some categories. And I think we need to reel back uh, our availability of uh, our data uh, on the open market here that's being mined openly for corporate profit. Globex is taking a different approach here and saying, hold on a second, we've got a product here that can secure personal communications all the way up to those corporate businesses uh, who need to ensure protection and privacy is uh, provided not only for internal communications, but also external communications between companies. If you appreciate the information coming through on the Independent Investor Channel, I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel, leave your comments at the bottom of the video, and share the message with anybody that's interested in the cybersecurity space, specifically to the protection of data and secure uh, communications conduits. Globex fits that, and they are the best in the industry at what they do. Was proud to chronicle this company and hope you guys find value in it as well. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the video, and good luck in your investment future.